Michigan Duck Sterilization, and we built a robot that goes through air ducts and sterilizes them using ultraviolet radiation. What we do is we carry special UV LEDs on the robot through the air duct, and as the robot travels through the air duct, it's exposing the inside walls to the UV radiation. And what UV radiation does, similar to when you're outside and you get a sunburn if you stand outside too long at the beach, um, UV radiation actually goes and kills the microorganisms like mold that may be growing inside the air duct. So we designed the robot so that we didn't have to give it any knowledge of what the duct layout might look like before it goes in, because if you go to different buildings, the air ducts aren't going to be laid out the same way. So what we did was we equipped the robot with some sensors and a camera, and basically what happens is when the robot goes in, what it does is it detects things like turns and ends of pipes, so that as it's traveling, if it comes to a turn that it registers with the camera, uh, the robot can use its motors on board to navigate the turn so it can continue and make sure that it sterilizes the whole duct. I think one way that it could be commercialized is for not only um, disaster relief companies, but for healthcare companies and hospitals. So places where the air quality is really important, say in a hospital where you have someone whose immune system is compromised, and you have to do whatever you can to make sure the air is as clean as possible. So you obviously don't want any mold growing inside hospitals because those people can get really sick if they get exposed to it. This is a condition called sick building syndrome, and that basically is when the mold is growing in the air ducts. It can be really hard to get out, really hard to clean. Um, usually the only option is to just gut the air duct system and, and put a new one in. So the project sort of started as a way to sort of relieve that sick building syndrome in the humid areas. So the, the basic design of the robot is that uh, it has two independent halves that are joined by a motorized spine. And what, how the robot operates is it takes the tracks that drives it and it turns a motor that uh, turns a device that forces all the tracks out against the duct. And so that actually provides a pressure that allows the robot to suspend itself. Even if, say, the, the duct were completely vertical, uh, the robot is applying enough force out against the duct that it can actually hold itself in place and drive up. And the spine is on two rotating base blades. And when the robot comes and um, locates a turn, what it does is the place will rotate and align themselves with the turn. And then the, once the robot aligns itself with the turn, uh, it begins the process of hinging the spine that separates the two halves. And so it can bend itself around the turn and then re-engage its legs and crawl around with the other side, complete the turn. So the idea is basically to, to make it like a Roomba for air ducts where it goes through and, and goes through and makes sure that it travels through every section of the duct. Uh, it can stay and do different areas and move around, things like that.